Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, all of the evidence in the case of the state of Texas versus Felix Martinez has been presented to you. Specifically the following. On August 22nd last year, Mr. Martinez went into Green's retail store and left with merchandise totaling $529.72. Before you are released, I want to first address an important matter. I'm aware that there are protesters outside of the courthouse. You are not to be concerned with any of the protesters' comments or signs, and you are not to be concerned with what the federal government may or may not do in regards to Mr. Martinez's deportation. Bailiff, please escort the jury to the jury room. Court is in recess, waiting for the jury's decision. Well, the judge said the first thing we need to do is elect a four-person. Any volunteers? You? Me? Yeah. No, I, I don't think that's a good idea. You showed initiative. Better you than me, man. You go right ahead, son. Sure. OK. Why, why don't we take a quick vote to see where we're at? OK. Excuse me, what was your Cindy. name? Cindy. Uh, Cindy, could you pass those around? I will write them down. All right. Not guilty. Undecided. Guilty. Not guilty. Undecided. The last one says guilty. So we have two guilty, two not guilty, and two undecided. In what world is Mr. Martinez guilty? Why would he put his life on the line for a gaming system? People steal all sorts of stuff for all sorts of reasons. The question is not how or why, but did he do it? And he did. He's guilty. Let's go around the table. Everybody remind us your name, how you voted, and why. I'll go first. My name's Ralph Roberts, and I voted undecided because I'm honestly not convinced one way or another. You? I'm Anton, and to be completely honest with you, this case is ridiculous. I'm not gonna be responsible for having someone deported and have their kids go into the system over a video game. Not gonna happen. Not guilty. Right, there's no way Mr. Martinez stole a gaming system, three games, wrapping paper, and a birthday card for his son's birthday. The only reason we're here is because he doesn't speak English. Simon Anderson. I voted guilty because of the security personnel and the arresting officer's testimony, as well as the security video. The judge said, specifically, not to mention what the federal government may or may not do. Therefore, mentioning it is inappropriate, and it goes against the judge's instructions. <clears throat> um, I'm Alexander Thomas. I voted guilty. The defense's lawyer claims Mr. Martinez always looks over his shoulder. Now, if that's true, how can he accidentally leave the store without paying? And the judge said, do not consider. Don't tell me what I can and cannot talk about. Look, man, no one's saying you can't talk about what you want, but the judge did say. To not consider it. She didn't say we couldn't discuss it. If he was a citizen, he'd take a plea deal pay a little fine, and pick up trash on the side of the highway for a couple of hours. As far as we know, the same will happen with Mr. Martinez. OK. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. An illegal immigrant will absolutely be deported if found guilty. Immigrant families are being ripped apart every day. I doubt any of you want to be held responsible for yet another one. Ma'am? We haven't heard much from you. My name is Maxine Parker, and I voted undecided. How do 
we know for sure that deportation is a possibility? Because he's undocumented. Or that what the protesters are saying is even true. Are they family members or hired actors? Has anyone seen any ICE agents at any point during this trial? I haven't. I hear y'all. But hear this. I'm not voting this guy guilty. I'd gladly pay the fine if I could, just so we can move on. So you guys can do whatever you want to do, but I'm not swaying. Then you're not living up to your oath. My oath? What about the oath we have as human beings? To be compassionate and empathetic with one another? Shouldn't that take precedence here? He barely stole over the 500 mark. If we find him guilty, he becomes a convicted felon and loses any chance of becoming a legal citizen. Do you have any idea how long and hard people work at getting their citizenship? It's like you're on probation for decades. But if you turned a blind eye once... My grandparents were undocumented. Some of my cousins are too. And God forbid if any one of them had an accidental lapse of judgment over something so small and a group of jurors like this tried to split up our family... I'm, I'm sorry. But there are 12 to 20 million illegal immigrants for whom we're forced to pay for their education, their health care, the growth to our infrastructure, and the increasing cost to our courts and prisons. And when American citizens need these taxpayer resources, we find illegals filling our emergency rooms, classrooms, and courtrooms, demanding that we speak their language and provide free interpreters for them. Just like your innocent Mr. Martinez. When they don't comply with our laws, Legal aliens are expensive, and I just whoa, think that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Illegal aliens? You are dehumanizing them. As if they're some sort of alien species from a different planet. Oh, and by the way, there's barely over 10 million undocumented people, which is like, what, 3% of the population? And the number keeps going down. We're all immigrants. America doesn't belong to you any more than it does me. How come you don't see news footage of ICE deporting white Canadians? <laughs> or hear about building a wall on our northern border and having Canada pay for it? See? Why is that so ridiculous? Hispanic or not, the problem is that 90% of illegal immigrants come through the southern border. Oh, everyone proudly sings that we're the land of the free and the home of the brave but then we all turn a blind eye to those brave people seeking a better life in a land where they can be free, chasing the American dream like the rest of us. As long as you do it legally. I came here as an immigrant. English was not my first language either, but I assimilated and I follow the rules so I don't find myself in a situation like this. Why should I have any pity for this guy? The immigration issue is not what's at stake right now. Maxine's right. Alexander and Simon, you both voted guilty. What facts did you base your vote on? Then we can hear from Anton and Cindy as to why they think Mr. Martinez is not guilty, aside from the deportation issue. Okay? Sure. And, um... <clears throat> Cindy, I, I apologize. You thought I used a disrespectful term. Look, I, I'm an army guy. I focus on facts. Thank you for your service. One, the security footage showed Martinez scanning the area nervously. Two, the security employees testified that they began to follow him because he appeared suspicious. Three, he entered the store without any means to pay. Four, he pushed the card out of the store without paying. Every single one of these are questionable, but when added together, 
He's clearly guilty. Who goes into a store without any cash or credit, loads up a cart, and leaves the store without paying? A thief. That's who. Not necessarily. People do absent-minded things all the time. If you both listen to the defense a little, you would know that, one, most undocumented people constantly look over their shoulder because they're afraid to be found. Two, I live by that green store and I shop there too. The only reason the security team kept an eye on Mr. Martinez is because he's not white. Three, the defense said his wife does the shopping. She was in the car, in the parking lot, with the family card. Four. That's why he walked out, to go get her. Yeah, but you typically realize you don't have your card when you're at the checkout lane. The video shows he did not go to the checkout lane. He just left. Yeah, he was worried he'd lose the only gaming system left. His son's birthday was the next day. We all make mistakes. We all have our off days. We also don't know for sure how the security officers treated Mr. Martinez. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You don't know that the security team followed him because of his race. They testified that they were <laughs> I guarantee you that if it had been you, a middle-aged white man walked into Green store, looked around, acted nervous, they wouldn't have paid any special attention to you. Again. You don't know that, and I don't know that. You're speculating. The fact that you can't acknowledge it is sad, but we do know it based on our life experiences. Are you calling me a racist? Guys, guys, guys. I am just telling you how our world works differently than y'all's. Again, immigration Deportation and racism may be correlations, but they are not the root of this case. I find it hard to believe he's not guilty. Even my eight-year-old nephew knows not to leave the store without paying. Both of my parents are doctors. My dad is a cardiologist, and my mother is a pulmonologist. So I didn't grow up poor. Far from it. I went to private schools. I live in a really nice house. And I'm currently a student in one of the most prestigious universities in Texas. And believe it or not, I'm studying law. <laughs> and what, you're gonna tell us you've had it rough? Give me a break. Just hear me out. Even though I'm upper middle class, I'm looked at differently by white people. Their snide looks, they speak volumes, man. And I've seen that look a thousand times. So no, Simon, I wouldn't say they're all racist, but they do have an unconscious bias based on the fear of different. People fear different. I'm always asked how many kids I have because all Mexican women have 15 kids, right? Okay, let's get back to whether Mr. Martinez is guilty or not guilty. Maxine? What do you think? I don't think it really matters whether he looked guilty or not. That's just a perception. The security video clearly shows him walking out without paying. I'm wondering if we should take another vote. What do y'all think? I don't need a piece of paper. Not guilty. Not guilty. This is just political correctness. I can't stand it. So easy for you people. Whoa, really? And you can't say that. Calm down. I can defend myself. Man, I'm on your side. You're welcome to be on my side, but stay on my side. Still guilty. Not guilty. Why are you suddenly on our side? Is it because he said something ignorant and you feel guilty about it? And you have to be the hero? Or do you genuinely agree? I think we should give Mr. Martinez the benefit of the doubt, especially considering cards are stacked against him. And what about the rest of the evidence? Went into the store with no money, 
left with a cart full of merchandise and didn't pay for it. Mr. Martinez testified that he was headed back out to the car because his wife had the card. Mrs. Martinez backed him up. Of course his wife backed him up. And why didn't she try to explain the situation when she saw the security team arrest Mr. Martinez in the parking lot? How? She doesn't speak English. Plus, undocumented people are too scared to interact with any kind of authority because they think they'll be automatically deported. She's brave for even coming here to support her husband. Yep. Yeah. Texas is not a sanctuary state. That's right. It's not. It's a law and order state. Oh, law and order. See, it's because of that that undocumented people are too afraid to call the cops even when they need them. Not all laws are good laws. Slavery was legal 200 years ago. Separate but equal, legal 65 years ago. Say she did try to explain the situation. Do you really think that all those white security officers would believe or even listen to two Mexicans pleading in Spanish when they've already decided that this guy is guilty of stealing instead of <clears throat> Instead of just messing up for a second. Do you really believe he just messed up for a second? Why don't you believe him? It's one excuse after another. There are too many excuses at this point. Then take it at face value. The defense showed us she had enough in her account to cover the items. How do we know she was even there? Alexander makes a good point. But even if she was there, what are you getting at? That if Felix Martinez was Mike Jones, right, 50 year old white man, you wouldn't be so fast as to not believe him. Unconscious bias, systemic discrimination, white privilege. White privilege? My granddaughter couldn't get a scholarship because her school had to fill their quota of minority applicants. Why don't you tell me what kind of privilege you think I've got? I've had to work tooth and nail for everything I've ever had. I wasn't given any handouts. Why is it that I'm constantly being villainized for being a white man who loves God and wants to stick to his traditions? Really? This is why the great divide in this country remains. When anyone talks about these subjects, people get mad, deny, and shut down. What Cindy is saying is true. White people won't admit it, but it still exists in everyday society in all aspects. Applying for a loan, getting a job, buying a car. Being watched because they think people of color are more likely to steal. Simon, have you ever been pulled over because your license plate light was supposedly too dark or because they thought maybe your brake light was out? because I have, many times. Even when I'm driving my mom's Prius. Regardless of what I'm driving, I'm DWB, driving while black. The police look for any reason to pull me over. Has that ever happened to you, Simon, Ralph, even once? I've never been pulled over once. You acknowledging? That alone is progress. What I don't understand is, why would he steal? Exactly. They both work, they have money. Why would he steal a toy? But if he had no intention of stealing, why would he remove the security sensor off of the box? We don't know for sure that he did. You saw the tape. We saw him fidgeting with the box. Yes, but they didn't find it on him, and they couldn't find it in the store. So where's the alleged missing sensor? Are we debating this because the crime is petty or because he may be deported? What if Mr. Martinez was accused of stealing $50,000? Would you still vote not guilty? If it's the exact same situation, maybe. Yeah, I guess. 
What's your point? Let's say he was accused of a violent crime. Would possible deportation still influence your decision? Mm, no. Of course not. If that's the case, then where do you draw the line? At what point does the punishment fit the crime? If being accused of stealing over $500 isn't enough, then is 1,000, 5,000, 50,000? How is it fair to other people accused of the same crime as Mr. Martinez, but who are citizens? I agree. You talk about discrimination, but you're treating undocumented people differently. In order to be fair, we have to focus on whether or not he committed the crime. Let me ask you this. Are we a country of laws or compassion? Like Maxine said, does the punishment really fit this crime? Look, we all saw the footage. We saw him leave the store with the merchandise. At the very least, everyone can agree on that. Right? But why? The why doesn't matter. The question is, did he do it? Or not. Okay. Say he did steal. Intentionally or not, we know he was getting the gaming system for his son. He had wrapping paper and a birthday card. Are we really gonna convict him and rip his family apart over a lapse in judgment? Can compassion ever intersect with the law? Members of the jury, have you all come to a unanimous decision? Your Honor, we the jury 